Good morning everyone, today we're going to be talking about what is new in this patch. So there are quite a few things, we actually have new weapons, new units or armor, as well as a whole bunch of compensation and a bunch of goodies. So uh, make sure that you do log in and pick everything up. Now before we dive into everything head first, if you're new to the channel, I upload videos daily. So if you do like what you see, I would appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want you to do when you log in is immediately go to systems. They now added this little exclamation mark telling you that there is something to receive. Then you want to go to get campaign items. You're going to have four items over here. The reason why we have four is because they messed up one of the uh, SG scratch lineups where we were supposed to get the astute braver ticket. However, it didn't work. So they're giving this again. So you see here, there is the regular apology SG scratch lineup. This one has a blank item right here. This blank item is actually supposed to be the astute braver ticket. However, they messed up and they gave us a broken item over here. Now, in order to make use of this bugged item you can actually exchange it for a 25% rare drop rate so you press escape go to shop over here go to item recycle and then right here click on the tab on the left side and the end rare drop rate plus 25% click on this and right here you can click the bugged item and exchange it for a 25% rare drop rate which is very very nice because this bugged item has no other use so uh, make sure to change it into the uh, rare drop rate so you can actually use it and uh, benefit your account but as I said earlier they did reimburse us and gave us an astute braver ticket which actually works now the way the astute braver ticket works is you're simply going to come to your scratch selection go to the astute braver scratch which is the sg scratch and click right here on the bottom right exchange ticket for prizes i have zero because i'm leaving mine in the mailbox because i'm going to redeem it on my ship one character because my character there is in dire need of a new hairstyle but what you need to do is you simply click on this and then the prize list will open and you can simply pick whatever prize you want from this entire list which is very very nice all right, with that out of the way, we have to talk about the Evil Coat weapons. So this is the new weapon series that just got released. It is a four star rarity weapon. However, it is extremely powerful and it is not that difficult to obtain because the Evil Coat weapons can be obtained in combat zones by killing enhanced enemies. Enhanced enemies are the ones with the red shield where you do less damage when you hit them, but you have to break the little microchip or the little P container or whatever you want to call it. The little yellow thing that sticks out, you destroy that, you break their shield and then you can take them out. Those are enhanced enemies. And when you kill those enhanced enemies, they have a chance of dropping every single Evil Coat weapon. Now do keep in mind that the Evil Coat series contains every single weapon. So the Evil Coat series is a very good series if you are planning to use a multi-weapon. So now the next question I know a lot of you guys are going to be asking me is what is the potential of the Evil Coat weapons? As we can see here, potential plus 20%. Photon Blast Gauge Charge when attacking plus 20% and this is at stage 1. This is extremely powerful and at potential level 4, the potency actually goes up to plus 26%. So you can see over here, this is my forces weapon and if we check the potential, you see at potential level 4, I only gain plus 24% potency. However, the Evil Coat goes up to 26%, which is 2% better than the Forces Weapon. Now, the damage at max level of the Evil Coat is about the same as the Forces Weapon. It's not going to be much higher. However, a lot of people are comparing the Evil Coat weapons with the Straga weapons, mainly because the Straga weapons is the best in slot for damage. If you only care about hitting as hard as possible, most people go with the Straga weapons. However, the Straga weapons have a downside. Potency plus 27%, this is great. However, there is the damage resistance minus 8%, which is bad because you take more damage. So in my personal opinion, if you are not using a Straga weapon right now and you don't like the Straga weapon's playstyle of being a pure glass cannon, the Evil Coat weapon series is a very, very good choice. I personally will be upgrading to the Evil Coat weapons from my Forces weapons. Now I will be farming a little bit longer because I won't be upgrading this week. I highly recommend people not to upgrade this week. Use this week to just farm and see what you get. See what uh, armors or see what weapons you get because next week we get a bunch of discounts on enhancing weapons, augmenting weapons, as well as unlocking potentials. So I would hold off even though we have an abundance of materials right now, it's mainly the Meseta cost. Being able to save half of the Meseta cost on all of your upgrades, especially if you're maxing out a weapon to plus 40 with all those augments as well as potential level 4, 
it's gonna save you quite a hefty bit of meseta since everything is gonna be half off. So I do recommend everyone to save this week, just farm, play normally, play however you want, however just don't upgrade anything until next week. But if you want to make a multi-weapon, it's okay to do it this week because there are no discounts for multi-weapons next week, okay? Next up, we have to talk about the new armors. This came out of nowhere. No one was expecting new armors. I was just farming Vanford Laboratories as usual, and suddenly, boom, I got a Vialto Armor Arga over here and a Belta. So these armors are actually really, really good because if you look at their flat defense at 16, they get the 1% damage reduction. However, on top of that, they also get weapon up melee plus 0.5% and range plus 0.5%. But if you look at the Belta, the Belta is range plus 0.5% and tech plus 0.5%, which is really, really good. Now, there is a small trade-off between the Vialto Armor Argas or the Vialto Armor whatevers versus the regular Vialto Armor. This is a regular piece of Vialto Armor. As you can see, it does not increase weapon up, but it gives you plus 30 HP. But the defense is also lower, it's only 14 base defense, versus the Arga, which gives you 16 base defense, but only gives you plus 25 HP. So it's 5 HP less for extra damage as well as extra defense. So I personally think the Vialto Armor Arga is a very, very good choice if you are playing a Braver. Mainly because it fits the playstyle very well, you get extra melee damage and extra range damage, which is very beneficial for a Braver, since Bravers are encouraged to use both the Bow as well as the Katana. The only trade-off here is 5 HP, which I personally don't think is a very big deal. Now, the only downside on using full Vialto armor is the PP. You will not get any PP, it's plus zero, so you're going to need to compensate with either your augments or your playstyle or something in order to get PP management in check, because uh, Braver definitely has a lot of PP issues, especially if you're playing a Katana Braver. So now you guys are asking me, Caro, I have the Gion armors, is it worth getting the Vialto armor Arga or the Belta or the, I don't know what the last one is, but there's three different types. So is it worth upgrading to these Vialto armors and not using my Gion armors? The answer is probably not. I would treat these Vialto armor Argas and Beltas as a side grade. So if you want to, you can do it. However, it is not necessary, especially if you already have Gion armor or if you're like me and you already have Vialto armors with Fixa 4s or Fixa 3s, etc., then it is probably not a good idea to upgrade to the Vialto Armor Argas and the Beltas and all that other stuff, unless you get a Vialto Armor Arga with a Fixa level 4 or Fixa level 5, then obviously upgrade to it. Um, the way that I see it is if you just use the base Vialto Armor, that is pure defense. If you use Gion Armor, you are pure glass cannon. And these Vialto Armor Argas and Beltas are kind of like the in-between if you want a little bit more balance, but you're not comfortable using the Catalea armors, or you don't want to use the Kelda armors, then you can think about using these special varieties. But there's something I'm curious about, and I don't know the answer because I simply don't farm in Mount Magnus or in Rezel Forest, but are the special varieties also dropping for the Catalea armors as well as the Kelti armor? Please let me know in the comment section below. And last but not least, of course, the new Urchin Quest Mining Rig Defense has been released. I have done it once with my Alliance. I probably will have that recording once I fully edit it and fix the audio. I will release that, just my first impressions about it. I personally enjoyed it quite a lot. It's very, very fun. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get a very high score. We cleared it, but we got a B because we got one of our towers just totally exploded. I think it was the orange tower that exploded because no one was guarding it, but it's perfectly fine. We had a lot of fun, and I think you guys will probably enjoy uh, screaming at each other going like, defend this, defend that, blah, blah, blah. It, it was a good time. However, right after you finish the urgent quest, don't forget all of those items will be put into the quest storage. So just make sure at the end of the mining rig defense that you do take out all the items out of the quest storage. Now they won't disappear when they're stuck in here and you like leave the zone, but uh, if it does overflow over 100, they will start disappearing and it will just start auto selling all those items into Meseta. So please remember to take out the items out of the quest storage put it into your inventory, sort it out. You know, you've got material storage for your capsules and stuff like that, as well as your weapons and armors, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.
Bye.